Hey guys, welcome to the Gear Locker. Today, we're going to be taking a look at my Linderhof Tactic chest ring. This style of chest rig has been seen in numerous units in the Bundeswehr. However, I have mine set up specifically for Luftlander Outklärungs Company 260K. I did do a loadout video on this unit before, so please check that out, card up above. As I did mention though, this chest rig is very applicable to many different units, and the style of pouches that you'll see on here are as well. So today I wanted to show you a little bit about how I set up my chest rig for this kit and for others. The base of this loadout is the Linderhof Tactic 2 t leg chest rig, which is the split two-part chest rig. This style of chest rig was issued with the Linderhof Tactic Gen 3 plate carrier system around the 2010s, and therefore it has been seen in use since then. Recon missions require fast, light, and maneuverable gear that has enough combat load to sustain a soldier for an extended period of time. While this setup would be complemented by a very large rucksack, maybe one by Berghaus, this chest rig is meant to carry a lot of the ammunition and necessary supplies for combat right up front. And there is no difference here. As you can see, on the left side, I have two Linderhof Tactic double magazine pouches that each holds two magazines. Similarly, I also have another double magazine pouch on the right side, however, this one is in a shingle style, which puts the two magazines side by side and allows me to attach more pouches right in front of it. And I've done just that. We have a compass pouch and a double 40mm flashbang pouch. Also on this side, you'll see the Linderhof Tactic radio pouch. This houses my TRI-148 replica, which you'll see in another video. As you extend to the rear sides of the plate carrier, simplicity is still the theme, where on one side, we have a Linderhof Tactic IFAC pouch, and the other, a large GP. What you may also notice is that this harness is not standard. The standard double buckle version of the 2 t chest rig came with an X harness and two individual straps. However, I followed suit of what many soldiers did, and that was to remove the X strap and include a Y harness of sorts. This is a one-piece shoulder setup that attaches twice to the front and connects in this back panel on the rear. However, it does still need to connect to both ends of the chest rig. Adjustability on this chest rig is also no joke. As we look here, not only do you have an adjustable rear strap for width, but you have two on the rear adjusting for height. And the same can be said for the front. While the middle buckles are not adjustable, the two strap connections are. And it is not uncommon that you'll see this exact chest rig used on many plate carriers in various units, including the KSK. This is not the only way to set up this chest rig though. While you will see these double magazine pouches as a very common item, you'll see a plethora of other ones, including multi-caliber and single magazine pouches. But I hope that this gave you a little bit of a taste of how I run my chest rig and how you could possibly for your impression as well. This is the Gear Locker. Thank you for watching. Make sure your gear is set up correctly, and we'll see you in the next one.